I just want to win more. It's, it, it's quite simple for me because I have endless motivation to play. Having a player that's able to kind of keep themselves accountable is like completely S tier for me as a coach. He's able to get the job done when you need him to. He's a competitor, he's an athlete, and he's a winner. Hi. Hello friends, how are you guys doing? My name is Man, and today I'm going to talk about the most underrated player of Valorant. That I feel nobody talk about it. But he has his own place in the Valorant history. You would find any player like him, but you can still enjoy him. By the thumbnail, you guys know I'm on I'm talking about Fnatic Chronicle. Yes, sir. So in this video, I'm majorly talk about uh, Chronicle, you know, achievement. I'm not going deeply in his background. Okay. So if you don't know about Chronicle background, please tell me in the comments. Otherwise, you guys are. I think no his real name Tomefoy and he's a Russian player. Okay, let's go. So I don't think in Valorant history there any other player who has won, who has got a first place so many times. You know his team has won that many times a championship. Chronicle is by the way the first player who has lifted three international VCT Trophy, Master Berlin 2021, Login Sao Paulo 2023, and Master Tokyo. But when he was in, uh, while he is in uh, Fnatic, he won his first trophy with Gambit, Master Berlin 2021. But the most special trophy that he won was the was with the Fnatic Login Sao Paulo final against uh, Loud. We all know that match okay let's talk about his achievement so chronicle in uh, Gambit when they won CIS stage 1 stage 2 challenger 2 stage 3 challengers playoff and then master berlin 3-0 by envy then Valorant Champion 2021 They lost it by the action the only final boss that they had to defeat it but they got lost by accent It's not bad but it's uh, uh, it was the end of the Gambit We didn't see Gambit after that After that Gambit changed into Mega M3C you guys see that what happened to Gam uh, Gambit, that's uh, just uh, none of my business. But then franchising happened and Chronicle got into Fnatic. And believe me, what I feel like the new Fnatic composition while Chronicle having in it is really really different beast. They won so lock in Sao Paulo against the Loud. We all know that comeback. Then they won the Master Tokyo. They had a really really beautiful 2023 year. But 2024 is also a different story. And I think they are gonna rock in 2024. So, Fnatic complete reverse sweep team heretics in EMEA stage 1 grand finals team heretics is really really strong and reverse sweeping it is, is totally a different story but they did it and which show that Fnatic is really really in a good performance so I hope to see Fnatic won this year championship Master Shanghai is about to start April uh, sorry May 24 23 
and let's see what happens so the speciality of uh, chronicle is that you can always depend on him to you know hold the site he's the best initiator controller that you can have he will never let you down and he will always always clutches in the most perfect time and now i'm going to play some of his most best movement in valorant pop a viper's pit on one side of the map you don't really need to get aggressive but why not when you have that dash available this is dangerous and you can see that they're very scared of that operator and why wouldn't you be chronicle playing behind the smoke and there's the opening as they come around the corner, they're not oh, expecting you to still that? be aggressive. And he's going to get all five. An ace for Chronicle. Not the round good. saved. That is incredible. 11. Give you know, a different round like that. Durker a little bit more freedom. Doesn't get as punished towards backside. He would have absolutely gotten something for them. Let's see what we have here. This is dangerous. Bone Cold is going on it. The flash was so good, but Chronicle is so much better somehow. Two shots with the Deagle. I haven't said that before. Sheriff. <laughs> now this round looks like Fnatic finally got that entry they wanted. Planted. Tristan should be, I was gonna say. Sage Orb. Going back to the CNET days on Sage. Let's get best the res here. Okay. Quite cool. a cool. Rewarded with two freebies here. Yeah. And Sender now reconsidering his approach. Down at 600 credits, the lowest on the side of Vitality, so going to try and hold on to this as best he can. I say that. What? You have Chronicle the pseudo ace. Third ace, inverted commas, in the yeah. series for Fnatic. And yeah, what's curious is that when you invest the res, that's the point at which you think, yeah, Sender's going to commit to actually fight back through spawn. No. So guys, if you like the video, please like, comment and subscribe. Tell me what do you think about Chronicle and how much do you like him? Tell me any other veteran player do you like me to make video on him. Until then, peace out.